Is your opening scene preventing readers from continuing to read your story? Let's fix that. I'm Chris, and this is part 10 of my series on how to use tarot cards to write a five-dimensional scene to keep your readers reading. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the F card, which is the feeling of the main character in your opening scene. If you have never read or touched a tarot card in your life, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to read a tarot card right now. For this series, I've been using the traditional Rider-Waite-Smith deck. However, if you are writing a different kind of story, I really recommend that you get a deck that reflects that. Such as, if you're writing a mermaid story, get a mermaid deck. If you're writing a cat story, get a cat deck. If you're writing a pirate story, get a pirate deck. Zombies, vampires. I almost said werewolves, but I'm, re I'm writing that one right now. <laughs> so let's get our screenshot fingers ready, shall we? This is going to be your feeling card. This is your first set of prompts you're gonna use when reading the tarot card. This is your second set of prompts. And this is what the full tarot spread actually looks like. So we're discussing the feeling of your main character in the opening scene. We got the Four of Cups. Traditionally, the Four of Cups means somewhat like boredom. If, you're, if this card was flipped around, this character would be looking at these three cups as if this is it. This is all I have. I need something new. I need something new and exciting. So then they're expecting this new someone, something, some new idea, some new emotion, something to bring them a little bit more excitement. And they're not looking at these uh, boring cups anymore. As previously stated in previous videos, a reverse card to me is blocked, delayed, healing, or internal energy. I find that when this card comes up in the reversed position, that the querent actually has this special creativity, this idea, this emotion, this new thing already inside of them. So how do we associate that with our main character? I feel like our main character is pretty much done with waiting. They have what it takes inside of them to make something happen. They don't need to wait for someone else to give them permission in order to do something. With this card being in reverse, it also kind of feels like this. there's an overconfidence going on with this. Like they have all this inside of them and they know what to do with it. They just have nowhere to place that energy. So now how do we associate the card with the rest of the scene? So as a quick refresher, we've got... This is the main, the opening hook. Someone seems to having be having a resource that they're not willing to give up. There's a lot of anxiety going on with that. The problem is that there's a parent that seems, parent or parental figure that seems to be my way or the highway. There's a new person that's come into town or into the situation that says, hey, I've got a new idea. Let's do this instead. We've got the conclusion where actually somebody's gonna feel like something's unfair. This is the contribution card, the hermit in reverse. So it seems like someone does want to leave, ready to go off into a new adventure. This is the Knight of Wands. It's what comes next. This Knight of Wands is a character who doesn't like to be pinned down. So they, they're ready to take action without thinking about the consequences first. Our main character mentally seems to be a little bit overwhelmed. They're not re delegating their responsibilities, maybe taking on too many responsibilities at the same time. They might be looking for something a little bit easier in their life. With the physical card, we got the world. Yesterday, I mentioned that I feel like the world says that this character is very healthy and ready to go on into a new cycle. And now we've got the Four of Cups with how the character is feeling right now in this opening scene. And it does, like I said, it seems like this character has everything inside of them that they are ready to go on and move on to something else. They have a vision. They know where they wanna go. They're just probably being held back by this parental figure or this resource that's being blocked right now. and But they ha they know exactly what they want to do. It's just now is their chance in order to do it. They're going to take this opportunity to be the Knight of Wands. Now there's one more card that I haven't brought up yet, and it's the card called the Signifier. It's this one right here. It's the one that's kind of been, should have been technically the first card that we pulled, but we didn't. And I'm going to tell you why tomorrow in part 11. See you next time.